Hey guys, it's Mr. Viewman here from Xbox Evolved. Today I have a direct comparison of the Poke Audio Hitmaster versus the Alltech Lansing Stage Gig. So right off the back, these are what they two look like. And you can notice that the Hitmaster is much bigger than the Alltech Lansing. The box is about twice the size <laughs> as the Stage Gigs. They both come with a male to female RCA cable. The Hitmaster's cable is 9 feet long and the Alltech Lansing's is 10 feet long. The overall build quality is both of them are just great. I think that the corner guards are a little bit better on the Alltech Lansing. So if you are in a situation where you bump the speaker into a wall or something, the Alltech Lansing will probably be more protected than the Hitmaster. Here's just a better look at the corner guards. Like I said, the Alltech Lansings are a lot better than the Poke Audio Hitmaster. The handle on the Alltech Lansing is much better than the Hitmaster, in my opinion. The Hitmaster has this rubber handle right here. Just goes in, you know, pull out. The Alltech has a nice cutout. And across the top is the handle, you can see there. And that adds a lot to it. Both speakers are actually very light as well. The Hitmaster weighs about 13 pounds. And the Stage Gig weighs about 12 pounds. So both of them... Both speakers are actually very easy to carry. Here's a look at the bottom. We have the Hitmaster and the Stage Gig. The Hitmaster actually has these little rubber feet where the Stage Gig just kind of uses it, its corner guards. Kind of doubles as uh, rubber feet as well. You can see the height difference is about a couple inches, showing that this speaker is bigger. And now here's a look at the back of the Alltech Lansing Stage Gig. On this speaker, the power cord is actually attached. On the Hitmaster, it's actually detachable, and you just plug it in right there. I do kind of like the detachable a little bit better, but one thing is that the Hitmaster's power cord in general is a little bit too short. The Alltech Lansing's built-in power cord is about, one, about a foot longer, so that extra foot is a big difference when it comes to plug it into the wall. Here's a look at the ports on the stage gig. We have the RCA inputs, and on the Hitmaster, there's actually a big difference. A big selling point on the Hitmaster is this aux end. That's a big, big selling point. Adds a lot of value to the Hitmaster. Just because of this aux input, you can hook up your iPod and pretty much any other MP3 device. So that's a big advantage that the Hitmaster has. But other than that, the back is pretty much the same. The volume now goes up to 11. And then on the on the stage gig, it's just it doesn't have any numbers. It's just got some knobs. One probably one of the biggest differences between the stage gig and the Hitmaster is the daisy chaining compatibility is well a lot better on the stage gig in my opinion. Um, you can actually hook it up directly. You can hook up the speakers directly to each other using that power input right there, and then from there. On each of the speakers, you can actually select which channel of audio they're playing. So one speaker can have the left channel audio, and the other speaker can have the right channel audio. Or you can both have you can have them both playing both of the audios. So that is actually, I think, it's a big advantage on the stage gig, where on the Hitmaster you just plug both into the wall, and then one of them having a RCA into the lineout. I do think that's a pretty cool feature though on the stage gig. When it comes to power, the Hitmaster definitely wins. The Hitmaster puts out an amazing 80 watts of power, where the Alltech puts out about 40. Now, probably the most important difference, the sound quality. And I'm going to have to say that the Polk Audio Hitmaster beats the Alltech Lansing by far. I mean, the sub is, the bass is just much more, you know, thumping and vibrating than the Alltech Lansing and the Hitmaster has two tweeters rather than the Alltech Lansing's one tweeter. I do find that because of the two tweeters on the Hitmaster that the high notes sound a lot more crisp and clear on the Polk Audio rather than the Alltech Lansing where the Alltech Lansing just it doesn't sound like it should. So overall I mean just the sound quality is definitely better on the Hitmaster. Now loudness, I mean there is no comparison that the Polk Audio Hitmaster have won. At about half volume on the Hitmaster, 
is about full volume on the stage gig. So there's a big difference in volume on both of these speakers. And neither one of them distort, which is good. And overall, I think they're both they are both great speakers. But for the same price of $99, I'm going to have to say that the Polk Audio is definitely the better deal. It has better sound quality and it has that extra aux input which adds a lot of value. And that's basically what you're looking for in a speaker. The build quality is about the same and you can both hook up pretty much any game system to them. I do think that the daisy chaining on the Alltech Lansing is a little bit better just because you uh, get that little switch and to choose which channel of audio you want to play out through the speaker. So if you are going to get more than one, that might be something you'd put into consideration. But one thing that they both don't have is just those little mixers. That would have been nice if they've included those where you could adjust the bass and the treble. And that probably would have solved some of the sound problems like too much bass or the, the high doesn't sound good. You could probably adjust it and make it sound better. So in my opinion, for $100, the Hitmaster is a much better deal than the Stage Gig. Now I'm going to have a sound comparison test on these speakers and I'm just going to have a private game on Call of Duty and I'm going to fire a couple guns and they're both going to be about half volume and I'll show you uh, kind of what the difference in the volume level and how they sound, kind of give you a direct comparison and I'll let you guys decide which one you think sounds better but in my opinion it's the Hitmaster. Alright guys, so now for the sound test. And I'm just going to be firing some different guns and making some different noises, and I'll let you guys hear, like, the difference. They're both about halfway volume on the knob. So first we'll go to the Hitmaster, then the Alltech Lansing, and we'll go back and forth, and I'll let you guys know which one's playing. So first up, we have the Hitmaster. And just right off there, I'm sure you can tell which one is louder. Obviously, the Hitmaster. And now I'm going to fire some shotguns and let you guys hear them. And once again, you can tell that the Hitmaster is much louder. So that, that's just my quick little sound test. And overall, they both sound great. I do think the Hitmaster is one louder, and it does sound a little bit better. But I do want to thank both companies again for sending these to me for review. Greatly appreciate it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. So comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.